What is going on everyone? Welcome back to World According to Briggs and an international video. Today we're looking at countries where tourists say the locals are the friendliest. A couple months back, we did a video about the rudest countries on the planet, so now we're doing the other side of that coin. I ran a poll that was directed on frequent travelers and travel professionals, and I listed 40 of the most visited countries and asked the travelers and professionals to pick the three countries they feel the locals are the friendliest. This list is ranked by how often these countries showed up in the respondents' top three. I also found a survey of expats where they listed a couple different categories from one to ten one being the best and i'll be including two of those categories in this how easy it was to fit in and how easy it was to make friends all right let's take a look number 10 vietnam vietnam has become a great place for tourists and people that are looking for a new country to live in Vietnam has become kind of a hot spot for all that. Sure, they had the Vietnam War back in the 60s and 70s, but that's ancient history to most of the Vietnamese people, and they're very welcoming, very friendly. Vietnam is considered a very safe country, and it's an easy place to make friends, actually. On average, it's given a four for ease of making friends and ease of fitting in. Their average is a six there. 43% of the respondents had Vietnam on their top three. Number nine, Canada. Canadians are friendly. Sure, just like any other place, you're going to run into some jerks, and that's fine. No place is, you know, immune from that. We're just talking averages here and people's experience. I've been to Canada several times, and I don't think, no, I did in Montreal, I believe it was. There was some rude people there, but that was about it. I've been to Vancouver, I've been to Toronto, Hamilton, nothing but nice people in Canada. The average score for fitting in and finding friends is five in both categories in Canada. If you've ever thought about visiting and you don't know much about Canada or actually want to move there, eh, sometimes it's a little rough to move to Canada and become a citizen. But if you go there and you're the outdoor types, you're really going to enjoy Canada because a a lot of the people there are the outdoor types. They're always willing to take you for a hike or whatever they're going to do. 46% of the respondents had Canadians as one of their top three friendliest countries. Number eight, Ireland. Ireland just, you know, they just have a friendly vibe. I mean, sure, they get a little wild and they get a little drunk sometimes at the pubs, but the pubs are very friendly places. I've never met one person that has gone to Ireland and said they didn't have a good time or the place sucked or the people were rude. It, you know, you're going to have some, just like I always say, people are people. But in general, on average, you're going to find nothing but decent, nice people in Ireland. I've never been to Dublin, but from what I understand, it is a very easy city to navigate. There's always people to help. And it's a very, very historic and interesting city that you should visit. I'm going there in 2024. I'll let you know what I think about Dublin then. But when it comes to fitting in, their average score is a five and finding friends is a six in Ireland. 46% of the people surveyed had Ireland as one of their top three friendliest countries. Number seven, Spain. Now, I've heard many people say how lovely the Spanish people are and they're just great and it's a great place to visit. I was there once very briefly, not long enough to really get a vibe of what was going on there, but I've never heard anything but good things about visiting Spain, especially when it comes to the people. I did read one thing where a guy said that if you want to see a rude Spaniard, be stupid, do something stupid, be rude or disrespectful. They have no tolerance for that. But if you're there to have fun and enjoy yourself and be friendly, you'll get the same thing back. I guess that's true for every place, but Spain, it's kind of a thing. They don't have a lot of tolerance for rude people, I guess. When it comes to fitting in, their average score is a five and finding friends, their average score is a four on that one. 51% of the respondents had Spain as one of their top three friendliest countries. Number six, Bahrain. Bahrain is a very interesting country. It's in the Middle East, in the Persian Gulf or Arabian Gulf, whatever you want to call it. And when I say it's in, Bahrain is actually 50 small natural islands, and it has another 33 additional islands that are artificial. And this is a country that's growing because they keep adding new little islands. Most of the time when you talk about a country growing, they're growing in population. This place is actually making their own country out in the middle of the water. You know, occasionally you hear some really bad things about some of the other Middle Eastern countries, but you never hear anything bad about the people of Bahrain. It's a beautiful country with really good people. 
that are friendly and happy to have you visit. I did see a couple things where Americans or English speaking people had a hard time finding people that spoke English. So you might want to have a way to communicate in Arabic if you want to really enjoy Bahrain. Their average score for fitting in is six and finding friends is also six. 55% of the people surveyed had Bahrain in their top three friendliest countries. Number five, Costa Rica. Costa Rica's friendliness and ease of fitting in is legendary. Everyone seems to think Costa Rica is just a great place to move to if you've had enough of the United States, Canada, or someplace in Europe. It's warm, it's beautiful, amazing beaches, and amazing people. It also has one of the longest life expectancies on the planet. So if you go there and make some friends, they may be friends for a very long time. For both fitting in and making friends, the average score is three in Costa Rica, and 63% of the respondents had Costa Rica as one of their friendliest countries. Number four, the Philippines. This is another one that Canadians, Europeans, and Americans seem to love moving to and staying there for life. A lot of expats are in the Philippines. They have some places just like every place else you want to stay away from, but in general, the people of the Philippines are great. They're friendly. They're welcoming. They want you to come to their country. They want you to experience their country. When it comes to fitting in and making friends, fitting in gets an average score of six and finding friends is an average score of two with one being the best. So that's pretty good. I had a neighbor that was from the Philippines and she broke in English. She said, yeah, having an American husband is like a delicacy. And I was like, I don't think you're using delicacy right. Human beings are not delicacies. But 64% of the respondents had the Philippines as one of their friendliest countries. Number three, Taiwan. Once you get past all the international stuff going on with Taiwan, I mean, China thinks Taiwan's part of China and Taiwan thinks it's its own thing. So there's a little bit of a disagreement on that one. If you visit Taiwan, you're going to end up in Taipei. That's like where everyone goes and kind of uses that as the home base when you're traveling in Taiwan. If you like amazing architecture, Taiwan's a great place to visit. Their temples that they have there and some of their buildings are just amazing. Taiwan in uh, not recent years, but for a while now, has been a hot spot for Canadians that leave Canada. But it is not hard to find friendly people in Taiwan. When you look at the ease of fitting in and how easy it is to find friends, ease of fitting in gets an average score of five and finding friends is three. That is not bad. 67% of the people surveyed had Taiwan as one of their three friendliest countries. Number two, Mexico. Mexico is a beautiful country that gets a bad rep because of a lot of the things that go on there with their cartels and things like that. And, you know, if you've ever experienced Tijuana or Juarez, you're really not experiencing Mexico the way you should. Those are poor examples of what's going on in Mexico. If you go down a little bit further, you're going to find some beautiful people and beautiful country and outside the resorts too. Yes. And you do have to watch where you go. You got to be careful and protect yourself. Just make sure you know where you're going. And it is a beautiful country to visit. And the people, I mean, the ones that aren't carrying machine guns are extremely nice. I have a few friends that left the United States years ago, bought homes in Mexico. Actually, some of them, they were first time home buyers in in Mexico. I've spent some time down in the Yucatan Peninsula area and that's my favorite. That's just, the people are just great. It's really strange. You talk to someone long enough and they're eventually going to invite you over for dinner. <laughs> I don't know what that is all about. It's just something they do. I had a friend that was with me down there one time and he wasn't used to going down to Mexico, but we stopped off at this little roadside place and we were, you know, getting some beers and relaxing, talking to the people that own the thing. And they invited us back to their patio thing to eat some food that they had been making. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. So I go walk back through. My friend grabs my arm and goes, we're about to be kidnapped. Dude, get in the back and eat some food. And he did. And they're very wonderful people. I'm still friends with two of them on Facebook. They found me after years. When it comes to fitting in, their average score in Mexico is a four and finding friends is a two. This is a very friendly country. Actually, 72% of the respondents had Mexico as one of their three friendliest countries. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. Please go over, subscribe, watch a few videos, give a couple thumbs up, leave me a comment. All right, on to number one. And number one, 
Portugal. This one does not shock me. I've heard for many years that the people of Portugal are just amazing when you go visit the country, just talk to the people and enjoy this country and their friendly vibe. Portugal borders Spain. Spain's friendly. Why shouldn't Portugal be friendly? Where most tourists go are the islands and the coastal destinations around Portugal, and you will find nothing but great people in those towns. You also find some pickpockets. I wouldn't really consider them friendly, but most of the people in Portugal are extremely friendly. When it comes to fitting in in Portugal, their average score is three and finding friends, it's two. This isn't just a great place to visit, it's a great place to live. 81% of the respondents had Portugal as one of their top three friendliest countries. That is not bad. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.